Hello, welcome to this video of Tomb Raider 3 glitch tutorial. Today is going to be about Lootsgate and City, the two of our London levels. So those are going to be pretty simple, just two glitch, I think. Well, actually three. And yeah, let's go. This is pretty easy, so don't worry. You just need to learn one new glitch. Uh, so yeah, when you start the level, you just turn left and you have to try to do your best printing here. Do a dive roll here, and if you do two jumps, you might feel fell in the water. And I messed up the sequence because I was speaking, but yeah, that's how it should work. Oops. So yeah, you turn left, try getting your best uh, sprinting sequence. Do a diving roll, fall in the water like this. Do another jump, and you are able to sprint again here. So it doesn't matter. I'm just explaining the sequence, but. It just save a bit of time depending how you want to do all your sequence. I know a lot of beginner won't be able to do the first sprint thing in the corner because they're not used to sprints. So what you can just do is do it step by step. Don't worry, it you will lose only a couple of seconds, so it's fine. Just you can do this if you're a beginner. You just sprint here, add a running jump, for example, do another sprint in the water, do another running jump, and keep going. It doesn't really matter. What matters is here, you want to uh, slide from the right of the slope because if you don't that will happen. Because you want to go there, you want to go in that hole here. So how do you do that? It's pretty simple. Up, come on. Um, oops, forgot. So you do your thing here. If you want, if it works or not, it's not going to work, but whatever. So you go here, and what you want to do is you want to go on the right of the slope, but you don't want to go on the very right of the slope, because if you are on the very right of the slope here, you might get pushed by the wall and not go in the hole. So for example, here it works, but it's not going to work every time. You want to be a bit on the, it bits on the right, for example, like this here is, is good. Just jump at the right time and you're in the hole automatically. So how do you know it's the right time? Uh, let me see if you can... Yeah, okay, so that's all you want to do. So what you do is you slide, you automat you directly jump two times. And when you land the second time, you wait for just a small moment. So you do it up, wait for just a small moment and you... Do the last jump pressing right and it will work every time so yeah that's it up up just a bit of time and you on your here so this is pretty easy if you miss it don't worry you have time i'm gonna show you up so if you miss it right you can if you don't like to do this you can do this as well but you will lose a bit of health because the spike will eat you if you miss it completely Oh, that's not what I wanted to show you. If you miss it completely, somehow you missed whatever like this, you still have time to stumble and climb like this. And, sa and same, you will lose a bit of health. So this is the cause for a mistake. Also, plus time. Also, that can happen that you mess up and you start sliding from here. If you do, you, you do the same thing, but you press right uh, during your jumps. And if you wear, wear on too much to the left, you will be able to recover. But be careful because, as you can see, you, you can't be too much to the left. So that's pretty much it for this place. Up. And then what you want to do is you absolutely don't want to roll off that ledge on the next one. Um, so why don't you want to do that, even though it's supposed to be faster? It's because if you do that, there is a chance, a higher chance, that your walk run jump will be broken. So I don't know if I mentioned that already in Tomb Raider 3, but basically what walk run jump is, if you do a walk run jump normally, it will do that, okay? So that's normal. But if your walk run jump is broken, that will happen. You will have one or two extra step. I don't remember, I think it's two actually, but it will do something like that. So you, you, it will wait until you fully uh, run to declench your jump. So, uh, declench is not an English word. 
to trigger your jump sorry so and i'm sure trigger works but whatever you, you got me so why is that it's it's complete mystery to us to be honest um it's we know that running off the edge can can have an impact on that but we don't know exactly how and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so if you don't want to take risk just don't roll off this edge and either this one here and you will be safe every time uh, you won't have any walk run jump broken i'm going to show you why it's important to not be to not have a walk run jump broken because the next um oops the next uh skip is going to require a walk run jump so um so what you want to do is you want to go here and what you want to do is you want to land um, you want to land there you want to land there in these spikes here right in front of this one it's important because for example if you fall here you will have to sidestep but sidestep moves you a bit forward in this game and this is important that your position has to be just where you land it's getting down the slope so for example if you uh if you land for example uh if you land here for example i recommend you to just go a bit like this do another run do another jump slide down here on your good position it will make you lose some health but this is the best way and there is a crystal coming so don't worry too much actually i'm not sure you can pick that crystal but whatever don't worry it's not too much so yeah you want to go here and the setup is pretty simple do a step backwards do a step forward and do a walk run jump and that's why it's important that it's not broken because if it's broken that's gonna happen you're gonna stop here do your jump and you're gonna fall in those wire and you're gonna die so this is important that the walk run jump is not broken here except that it's pretty much a free skip you skip basically the whole level doing that almost um well, you skip 30% of the level. The other 30% will be skipped by the other, the other glitch. And this is not a glitch, by the way, but whatever. Um, so what you want to do is you want to do a walk run jump and you want also to do a dive jump. So you're going to do a normal walk run jump and when she starts jumping, you're going to hold the walk. So for example, here it was broken for some reason. <laughs> Maybe, I, yeah, because when you reload a lot, sometimes it can happen. So... By the way, just telling you, if you have a walk run jump and you have a on you reload, you still have a walk run jump. Okay, so here, for example, for some reason I don't. Maybe because I died actually, but if you didn't die on reload, you you might still have it. To cancel that, you need to do a normal running jump anywhere in the game, and it will cancel. It will cancel it, and you will be able to do your walk run. So that's pretty much it. So you step backward, step forward do a walk run jump and you're gonna hold walk at the start of a jump to do a dive if you don't do a dive you die this is important to know this is because of hitbox problem so yeah if you don't do the dive i'm gonna show you what happens up oh well it was broken again for some reason okay i don't really know why here but it was weird so do or whatever reload and you won't have it anymore well you shouldn't have it anymore oops well <laughs> sorry about that up up so that's if you dive and that's if you don't dive so that's why you dive so you dive here and you're pretty much done with a big part of the level so here for some re year i'm play the monkey because i didn't wait until she stops but if she stops you can just do the dive you're gonna roll immediately in the water and you're gonna climb here uh hold immediately uh jump on and roll to land here and for some reason you should trigger oh uh, no whatever no it's not here never mind and then you're gonna do a running jump here another one here and you're gonna fall here in this water here 
And you're gonna go here, which is a secret place. So there is a, a crystal that you can pick up. You have to pick it up if you want to pick it up. You can't just go to it. Uh, it's because you skip the trigger to activate the crystal, but it's still here. You just need to pick it up manually. So if you have a bit less health, you just pick up like this. And, and yeah, that's that's all you do. It. So yeah, that's that's it. So I'm not gonna pick it up personally, but yeah. If you are in a run, there is a chance that you hear a guy sending an alarm. But because I took time to explain things, I don't know where he is. He should be here. Maybe. Wow, well, whatever. If I remember right, you should still trigger the alarm. But whatever. Don't worry if there is an alarm, it's normal. So you go here, do a jump here, another jump here. Actually, I'm not sure it should be here. Whatever. You go here in the secret place, pick the med if you want, I recommend picking it when you start. And go into that UPV, so UPV is uh, make you go faster, so that's why you just want to press jump and you will have a boost. And you will be able to move forward. You go over there here, and if you, what you, you have two choices, you're gonna have to do a glitch later which is going to glitch the, UP, the UPV, sorry. And you're gonna have unlimited breathing. So what you can do is you can trigger it right now, but you will have to get out of the UPV. And if you do, when you're going, when you're going back to it, you're gonna have to reactivate the glitch. So every time you get out of a vehicle, you will have to reactivate the glitch. So you can do it every time, but if you don't like this glitch or if you don't want to be a bit faster, what you can do is you don't have to do it the first time here, but you will take breathing through the ceiling like this. So this is pretty easy. You just go to the ceiling and just take some air. And this is pretty easy. And then you want to go on the right here in this hole. Get out using roll. Pull that lever. And hoping the alligator doesn't damage you too much. If you are mid elf here don't worry it's pretty good because there is a crystal letter so here because i'm playing like a monkey i got it beat it one more time and you can also take care here if you're doing it right but because i didn't do it right i didn't get some air whatever and then you want to go here so you go left and you go up here and you can take breath here as well up and also you will like oh get out Lara why doesn't want she okay for some reason she didn't want to get out but whatever it's still gonna work don't worry uh, so you pull that lever what I was gonna say to you before that um, I wanted to say to you something else before she start doing madness uh, yeah so the UPV, UPV uh, movements are really, really bad. So if you, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna trigger the glitch first because you know, but I'm gonna show you. So something you have to know first is that UPV, when you are in the UPV, crocodile can can't eat you. So this is important. And also, when you eat a wall like this, even if you it looks like you don't eat it sometimes you are stuck so don't worry if your movements when you start are not as good as mine you will get you you will get used to uh, the movements and the eat boxes of this eventually what you have to know is that it's just better to um, it's just better to not cut corners with that because you can really get stuck easy. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use the glitch here because for some re because uh, actually it's normal. I I'm supposed to use the glitch here. Never mind. So you're supposed to use the glitch here. So how do you do the glitch? What you have to do is you have to run against the wall with a vehicle, and when you hit the wall, what you're going to do is you're gonna press roll. And then you're gonna immediately press jump like this and you should hear that sound that that weird sound that you just hear 
If you hear that, it's good. Oops. I'm gonna say actually in the EPV. UPV. I, I can't say it right. Up. Press roll, immediately jump, and you're good. When you practice the first times, when you will try that, you might get out of the vehicle. That means you pressed it wrong. You need to train yourself until you're consistent at this. So, yeah. When, once you're here that zone and you don't get out of a, of a UPV, you're good. You trigger the glitch. Up, so you go against the wall, press roll once and hold a jump a bit. And you're good. As you can see, my briefing bar doesn't go down. So that's, that's one side of a glitch. So the glitch gives you unlimited breathing. Oops. Up. And you go for it. So this is the first time explaining, but I'm going to show it again. So I will explain it a bit more after. I'm going to try to avoid harpoons here so I don't have to use a med, but don't be that dangerous in the run. So then you need to go here in this hole. So it's the second on your left when you get out of a previous place. And there is going to be a crystal here. And then you're going to get out. You just get out by pressing roll like usual. Pull that lever again and go in the vehicle again. So here I'm going to have to heal a bit because I monkeyed um, with um, breathing, but don't worry. And you're going to have to do it again. This is You have to do the glitch at this point because you're going to have to use the glitch for another way, for another thing that is going to come very soon. So you just up, you do it again. So you press. It's very simple. You press, um, you press roll and you press jump. And this is this is really really easy so you just practice a couple of times like this in a row and it will come eventually um i wanted to say something yeah you know that your glitch is oops you know the glitch is trigger or not if you when you drive it and you are in a glitch state it doesn't make sounds anymore so don't look at your bar just here and as you can see you can't hear anything so that means it's good also when you get out of a place i just was it's the second on the left as well you go here you go in that door that you just open and you go up and because you're in a glitch state so i'm gonna explain to you quickly the glitch states uh make you make the game thinks you're out of the vehicle except you're not you're still in the vehicle so because the game thinks you're out of the vehicle but you're not it mess up the bar the health bar and uh, the health bar the breathing bar but it also have the fact that if it thinks you're not in the upv and if it thinks you're out of the upv it means that you can get out of the water because with upv you can't get out of the water so that means that when you will emerge you will be able to go in the air with the UPV. I hope that makes sense. If you didn't get it, I can't do anything more for you. You're going to have to do this glitch without knowing what it does. But I guess you can do that. Um, yeah, so that's it. And I have a visual clue. When you get up, the way you have to go is you have to look at this blue thing. You can see a blue texture on top here. It's on the right right now. As you can see, so this blue thing, you have to go the opposite of the blue thing here. You have to go here. So it's the opposite of the blue thing when you get up. And then you go in this place and you finish the level, basically. So this is why UP UPV flies, because the game thinks you're out of a UPV when you're still in it. And because you're out of it, you're supposed to be able to get out of the water. And then you go on the top here top hole here and you can finish the level pretty easily and that was loot skate so i don't have anything else to say about that level i really hate it so i don't want to come back to it so now let's move on to city <laughs> okay so for city you have one corner bug one corner bug to do but you have to do it perfectly you have to do the sequence absolutely perfectly if you don't you're gonna have to reset or reload or whatever because if 
you need to get the corner perfectly in order to do another glitch which involves Sophia pushing uh, with her scepter but it's gonna push you in the wall and you glitch up this wall but because Sophia is pretty fast you need to have perfect sequence or you won't be in time to get you to be pushed so I'm gonna show you what it looks like up so you go here you pull a flare that's really important you go to that corner here take your wrong crouch forward side flip flare console jump here grab and she's gonna push you so here I was really lucky because it was really close from failing but it should be like sometimes she will push you here and it's a bit less scary but don't worry so that's how it's supposed to work so how do you do that easily so you just pull a flare you start sprinting and when you start sprinting about here you save if you are not confident and then what you do is you sprint but you don't want to sprint to keep sprint you don't want to hold your sprint button until the wall because if you do you will have a small bump against the wall and it will mess up your timing what you want to do is you want to sprint stop sprinting a bit before turn 45 degree crouch forward quickly side flip and flag console and drop off the edge and then you can two steps and you jump uh, and you grab and that's how it is that's what you have to do so you, again sprint stuck here 45 degrees you have to angle your corner pretty quickly so you have to practice this one crouch forward quickly side flip flag console one two jump and grab and because here i was slow because i was planning it didn't work but if you do it right if you do it in one motion so for example uh, even with a stumble it can work but it's it's really way shorter so maybe it will work here maybe yeah it works but you have to be really really fast on the rest if you have a small bump the better the best chances is to not get the stumble do your corner and then it will work every time quickly up like this you grab and yeah you have to all grab I'm so, i forgot to say that that's very important but because i do it all the time i forgot you have to all grab all the time or when she will push you that will happen you have to grab because the fact you grab and she pushes you behind you have you are grabbing in the grabbing animation but you are going backward which isn't normal for the game and that that's what makes you go into the wall up so up corner 45 degree side flip flag console go here all grab and you go to that hole and you glitch up and that's basically all i can say about that so if you do it perfectly you will have that if you don't do it right you will rip and if you rip you have to go uh you have to go the normal way or you have to do some call crotch call, uh, you have to do some corner glitch or whatever but it's way slower and it's really annoying so yeah so once you're here you do standing jump here you side flip you have to be quick from here because sofia is still under you and she if she is catching up with you she's gonna push you for example if i miss if i miss this jump for example or whatever if i miss two time or whatever she will be here and when she will be here she will push me like this and i won't be able to do anything like this so you still have to be fast after you glitch so once you glitch it's not too bad already once you glitch you just standing jump side flip here uh, so you have to be careful when you do the standing jump like i just missed you need to press a bit left to be sure you go to the platform so yeah standing jump side flip standing jump a bit to the left turn a bit like this standing jump jump twist another standing jump so you do only standing jump almost another standing jump here you can do another standing jump here and do a running jump or there is slightly quicker sequence so it's basically the same here up up except that when you land this on this one you just do a running jump here you need to curve because if you don't curve you will uh, hit that thing here so just be careful so you need to you need to do it right and then you go here and you uh, you have to shoot in that thing here to uh, stop electricity 
create over tension or whatever and even if she is not on the thing she will die because it's because the fact of breaking that box kill her the game the game instantly interpret that she's on it so it triggers her death but it even if she's not on it don't worry it's fine and then you just jump here do a fake grab oops land here do a fake grab and grab the thing so because i i explained to you stuff it's not where it's supposed to be i'm gonna show you where it's supposed to be but that's basically how it works so you don't need to deactivate the with a button like in glitchless or they've intended so this is important to notice so you side flip uh, side flip standing jump standing jump standing jump you only almost do standing jump up deactivate that thing and if you do it quick like i just did you will be able to jump where i will jump i will just gonna warn you about one thing so you need to jump here up while well, not here whatever did i say no, okay jump here do a fake grab and you will land almost on the thing if you do it if you have if you do it quick enough and as usual when you grab something in the end of a, of a level you want to to save a bit of time like half seconds you crouch and you grab it and it's a bit faster and that was city so one thing you need to know about that one more thing is that uh, if you are jumping from here to the slopes there there is a chance that there is an invisible hitbox generally of that lamp here or something else that will push you to the right or to the left you have to really be careful that's why when you start i recommend you to jump from here if you once you will start optimizing you will be able to jump from here for example but you have to be ready but at some point you might get pushed on the side randomly it's because of a hitbox problem so be careful about that and then it's just the same just grab it and whatever and this was city and this is the end of london so as you can see this is really short and relatively easy so have a good practice next time it's gonna be coastal village and probably crash side because those two are two small levels we'll see Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions as usual, ask, ask in the description in the description. Ask in the commentary section and I think I'm gonna sleep because I'm saying bullshit. And thanks for watching and see you next time.